Hiya fam. Today we are presenting part three of three of the color analysis of the Schmincke Super Granulating Paints. I did give a separate video giving an intro and a bit of context. I will link to that in the description. This is part of the Venstravaganza series, and this is the last one that goes over specifically the Schmincke Super Granulating Paints. So as a recap, um, so in part one, we went over the Deep Sea Galaxy and Glacier series. These were released in July of 2020. In part two, we reviewed the Forest and Tundra series. These were really released in December 2020. Part three is going to bring it all together. Um, it is going to be a wee bit longer, so brace yourselves. <laughs> uh, grab a cup of tea, gather around the cat cave. This is the finale for the Schmeeker Super Granulating. Um, as a reminder, none of the actual colors that are in the Venn diagram do these paints any justice. They are largely just representative. Please refer to these swatches for actual color values. I'm going to try to keep them visible as I go and the high-res scans of them will be available on my blog at gingersnaps.wordpress.com. I do have a link for that in the description as well. Um, just a side note, um, this video comes with a small motion sickness warning. Uh, we do have Dexter snoozing with us. If he gets up and decides to jump down passionately, he is going to shake everything and it's going to be a minor earthquake for a moment and I am sorry about that. He is snoozing though so we should be okay. Um, now as I was getting this set up uh, and ready to go I did realize that there is one that is put in the wrong spot. That was an oops. The deep sea violet contains PB29 and PBR33. It does not contain PV16. Now, this Venn diagram, it might appear familiar to you as it was recently featured in the brilliant Dr. Odokano's video. I am going to include a link to that as well because I honestly, if you have not seen her videos, like please go, go check them out. Um, six out of five stars, do recommend to a friend. But her video did include my oops. Sorry, friends. I am but human. Uh. <laughs> so let's let's get to it. Figuring out what order to do this in was, was kind of tough because I can't just kind of meander around in a big loop like I did before. So I figured I'm just going to go down the list and then we'll just kind of go over it all after. I am going to put down my box. I'm going to try really hard to move it this time, every time. I'm going to do my best. So, the Deep Sea Violet, I have marked DV, and it includes PB29 and PBR33, and it's in this teensy, teensy, teensy spot because I clearly oopsed. And awkward. That's going to have to do. Okay. Next, the Deep Sea Indigo, I have marked DI, Deep Sea Indigo, and that contains PG18 and PV62, Next is Deep Sea Blue, which I have marked DB, and that includes PV29, PG50, and PV16. Let's 
Sorry guys, I might fill these in a little slow because they're teeny, 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 tiny. Okay. Next is the Deep Sea Green. Now that I have marked DG and it contains PB29 and PG18. I already have been not moving this. This was a deep sea blue, which was this one. This is deep sea green, which is this one. <sighs> Almost had it. Except not at all, because we're literally on the fourth color. That's okay. Deep sea green. Okay, so next is Deep Sea Black. Deep Sea Black, I have marked DBL, and it contains PB74, PBK11, and PB35. So that is all of the deep sea colors. So now galaxy pink, I have marked XP. And that one contains PBI 33 and PV 16. Yeah, that's adequate. Okay. Now, the next one. So, there are two colors in this space because they have the same pigments, just in different proportions. The Galaxy Violet, I have marked XV. Ooh, and this contains PB29 and PR233. Also, the Tundra Pink, I have marked TP, and also is listed as containing PB29 and PR233. I'm going to paint both of them now, um, because reasons. <laughs> so this is the Galaxy Violet. And then this is the Tundra Pink. So the Tundra Pink definitely has more of the PR 233. And then I just made a bleep blue. I'm just gonna rub rub. Um, more than the Galaxy Violet does, at least. The Galaxy Violet looks like it has more of the PB29. So next, there's also two colors in this space because they have the same pigments, just in different proportions. The Galaxy Blue, I have marked XB and contains PG50 and PB29. The Glacier Blue, I have marked GB and contains PB29 and PG50. I'm going to paint both of these now because reasons. So, I literally, okay. Galaxy Blue. 
My spaces are tiny. Glacier blue. So next is the Galaxy Brown. This I have marked XBR and contains PBR6 and PV62. And the last galaxy color is the galaxy black, which I have marked XBL, and that contains PB29 and PBK11. Ah, I did it again. Galaxy brown is right there. Galaxy black is right there. Let me know. Actually, let me know. Let me know if the little box is helpful at all, because I keep forgetting about it, which is which makes it less helpful. <laughs> um, if you find it helpful. I will keep trying. If you if you do not find it helpful, but find it entertaining, I will also keep trying. But if you do not find it helpful at all, then then we'll just we'll just we'll just let the little box go, because I'm sure the 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 commentary of of me forgetting it every few colors is is great the 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 first few times, but you yeah. know. Your feedback is important. <laughs> so, okay. Next is the Glacier Colors. So the Glacier Blue, I already did fill in. It is right there. That one, I have marked GB and it contains PB29 and PG50 versus the Galaxy Blue, which has more of the PG50 than the PB29. Next is the Glacier Turquoise, which is this one. That I have marked GT. That contains PG50 and PV16. As I fill these in, they might also get progressively more lumpy as I try to avoid other spots that are already wet. Uh, that's just that's just gonna come with the territory. I, I can't really help you with that. <laughs> there we go. I can make a neat copy though if, if, if anybody is that passionate about having a neat copy. So, okay. Next is the Glacier Green. Glacier Green I have right here. I have marked it GG. It contains PG50 and PR233. And I did move it. Perfect. Next, I have the Glacier Brown, which is this one. Glacier Brown, I have mapped GBR. It contains PBR6 and PG26. Mm. 
And this one has wicked high tinting strength as well, so you really only need like a teensy bit to fill it in. Because it's also very opaque. Okay, that was Glacier Brown. So the last Glacier color is the Glacier Black. Glacier Black, I have marked GBL. It contains PB35 and PBK11. Okay, so that is the end of what we covered in part one. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lay this one on top. This is what we covered in part two. How you doing, Ducky? Good, good boy. Okay. So up next is Forest Blue, which is one of these. Okay, now Forest Blue, I have marked FB, and it is here. Uh, the Forest Blue I've marked FB contains PB36 and PBK11. The downside of the water brush is uh, when you push water out of them, depending on which one you're using, it can blow bubbles. And it can make funny bubbly noises as it does it. And it's very distracting. <laughs> Just fun fact for you. Next is Forest Green. Forest Green, I have marked FG. And that one contains PG19 and PBR33. Yeah, that's good enough. Nailed it. What's next? Forest Olive. So Forest Olive, I have marked F-O-L, and that contains PBR7, PY43, and PG18. And that I'm going to just... Yeah, not nearly enough paint. Okay. I'm failing again. Forest green was here. Forest olive was here. I can't imagine that the that the box is actually that helpful. <laughs> if I keep forgetting about it. Let me know though. I cater to you. It's whatever you want to do, guys. Yeah. Okay. Forest olive. Now next is forest brown. The forest brown I have marked FBR and that contains PBR7, PY43, and PG26. It's also really, it's really a green color. I don't, I don't know why they named it forest brown. 
be totally honest with you. Forest brown. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be fun with this knot tipped in. Just Okay, and then forest gray, I have marked F G A. There we go. The forest gray I have marked F G A. It contains P G fifty, P B A seven, and P B K eleven. Okay, and now that was forest gray for the tundra. So the tundra orange is next. That I have marked T O right here. That contains P I two thirty three, P B I seven, and P Y forty three. Much bigger than the others. <laughs> okay. The tundra pink I have already done. That one I marked TP. That contains PB29 and PR233. Next is tundra violet. Here, the tundra violet I have marked TV contains PB29 and PBR6. Okay, next is Tundra Blue. Now the Tundra Blue I've marked TB. That contains PB29 and PBR7. And is up here. And also is a wicked big spot. Just because this is a very odd shaped Venn diagram where it can includes 25 different paints. So some are tiny and some are definitely not. Yeah. Okay, and the last color is Tundra Green, which I have marked TG. Tundra Green includes PG19 and PBR6. Maybe a little 
hard to see because this one is also very opaque. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so now let's get weird and we will do a recap in a couple different ways. Hi, baby. Let me just move the wet paint out of the direct path. Okay, so for actually, I'm just gonna pull this off again because because I can, frankly. Okay, because I'll move it this time. Haha. <laughs> So, recap. You have the DV in that teeny tiny spot right here. There's deep sea violet. And then there is deep sea indigo, which is here. And then there is deep sea blue, which is here. The deep sea green is here. Deep sea black is here. The galaxy pink is here. Galaxy violet is here. Galaxy blue stepped in here. Galaxy brown is here. Galaxy black. Nope. Galaxy black is there. Glacier blue is here. Glacier turquoise is here. Glacier green is here. Glacier brown is here. Glacier black is here. I'm just put this back down. Forest blue has escaped me. Ah, uh, it's there. <laughs> Forest green is here. Forest olive and forest brown and forest gray. And then tundra orange, tundra pink, tundra violet, tundra blue and tundra green. Now, let's get weird and look at it by pigment and how many frequent flyer miles each pigment has because they, there's, I believe 16 pigments in total and they appear anywhere between once and 10 times. Um, so the highest amount is with PB29. There are 10 iterations of PB29 here. So that is Deep Sea Violet, Deep Sea Blue, Deep Sea Green, Galaxy Blue, Galaxy Violet, Galaxy Black, Glacier Blue, Tundra Pink, Tundra Violet, and Tundra Blue. Next up is um, the PG-50, which is here. There are six iterations of PG-50. That is with the Deep Sea Blue, the Galaxy Blue, the Glacier Blue, the Gal I'm sorry, the Glacier Turquoise, the Glacier Green, and the forest gray. Next up is PBK11, which is this one. There are five iterations of PBK11, and that is in the deep sea blue, I'm sorry, the deep sea black, <laughs> the galaxy black, the glacier black, the forest blue, and the forest gray. There's also five iterations of the PBR7, which is this guy right here. And that is forest olive, forest brown, forest gray, tundra orange, and tundra blue. Now we are moving on to iterations of four. So there are four iterations of PR233, which is this right here. And that is with the galaxy violet, the glacier green, the tundra orange, 
and the Tundra Pink. There are also four iterations of PBR6, which is this one right here. And that is, let's see, Galaxy Brown, the Glacier Brown, the Tundra Violet, and the Tundra Green. Next uh, iterations of three. So there's three iterations of PBR 33, which is this one right here. And that includes Deep Sea Violet, Galaxy Pink, and Forest Green. There's also three iterations of PV 16 right here. And they are Deep Sea Blue, Galaxy Pink, Glacier Turquoise. Please note, Deep Sea Violet is not one of them. That was the oops. <laughs> um, also, three iterations of PY43. That is the Forest Olive, the Forest Brown, and the Tundra Orange. Now, for iterations of two, there's two iterations of PV62, which is the wonky one right here. Those are the Deep Sea Indigo and the Galaxy Brown. There's also two iterations of PB35 up here. That is the Deep Sea Black and the Glacier Black. Two iterations of PG26, which is this one right here. And that is the Glacier Brown and the Forest Brown. There are also two iterations of PG-19, which is this one right here, and that is the Forest Green and the Tundra Green. And then there is one iteration of PB-36, which is this one right here, and that is the Forest Blue, and one iteration of the PB-74, which is here, and that is the Deep Sea Black. <laughs> and that is it. So as I have said before, a lot of these you you can mix with what you already have on hand already. The colors are wicked beautiful, and they are wicked repetitive. And frankly, you you probably don't need all twenty five. If they release more super granulating paints, which super granulating just refers to a paint containing multiple pigments, all of which granulate. Um, so you know if they release more and maybe include perhaps some red and yellow hues then we'll talk but until then you know there's there is more to the granulating world than just blue if you know what i mean <laughs> um i will reiterate if you want to see the high-res scans of these pages please do check out my blog at gingersnapsat.wordpress.com i did leave a link in the description for you and we'll have everything uploaded for your viewing pleasure uh once they dry um also, if, if you haven't checked out Odo's channel yet, what are you waiting for? Get on over there, check them out. She has also assessed all of these colors recently, but her videos include, one, much better swatches, um, but also color mixtures and, you know, all sorts of good stuff. So go, go, go. Really, really check those out. Um, uh, closing remarks, this is not the end of the Venn Stravaganza series, but it is the end of the Schmincke Super Granulating Paints being featured, unless they release more. Uh, since these are the paints that actually kickstarted me doing this, you know, they'll probably always be a personal favorite, but who knows? Maybe it's all downhill from here. Um, in terms of next steps, though, so I've I've been looking at the Prima Marketing, um, but there there are so many sets available. And then I realized that Jane Davenport's paints also include a lot of the exact same stuff. So what I'm thinking is after this, um, I'll probably cover the Jane Davenport paints. Um, hers include three sets of 12 each. Uh, I'm sorry, three sets of 12 paints each, and then um, probably cover Prima, and then probably try to combine the two since there is so much overlap. I don't, I don't know that I'll do all of Prima, but at least this way I have time to figure it out. 
Um, the, the irony is also not lost on me that many people buy those sets just for the tins and they might not even unwrap the paints, but perhaps that is all the more reason for me to help you get a better look at what you already have on hand. And do you really need, you know, all of them? We'll find out, you know, stay tuned. Um, but my question for you, my fellow mask makers, is does this sound like a plan? Um, do you have a favorite Prima palette? Perhaps a top three? Maybe we'll do a top three. Um, or do you, do you have any requests on any other brands or sets or, um, is there anything specific you would like to see become part of the Venstravaganza series? Please do let me know because this fun train is in fact capable of having no breaks. Also, my fellow mess makers, how many of these do you already mix at home? Do you does does this change how you see them? Are you perhaps having a blue overload? Or would you like to see a different hue from Schminka? Please let me know. Also let me know if if the box is helpful. Because I feel like it might not be helpful. But you tell me. Um that is it. <laughs> questions, concerns, sarcastic rocks, please do not be shy. Otherwise, until next time, take care.